AutoCAD 2014 offers a modern, dark-themed interface that includes the ribbon, status bar, and palettes. Although we're all used to looking at dark writing on white paper, looking at a computer screen is different. The white is a light source, shining in your eyes. The new dark theme interface combined with the traditional dark model space helps reduce eye strain by dimming the light and minimizing the contrast between the drawing area and surrounding tools. You can easily change between the dark and light themes using the color scheme control in the options dialog box. In addition to supporting the dark color theme, the ribbon offers improved efficiency for accessing tools. For example, tools on the Reorganized View ribbon tab make it easier to control the visibility of UI elements such as the UCS icon, view cube, navigation bar, and layout tabs. There are many ways that using the ribbon can help you work more efficiently. With each release of AutoCAD, the ribbon offers additional contextual tabs, helping you access relevant tools with minimal effort. For example, when you select an attached object in the drawing, such as an XREF image or PDF file, a contextual ribbon tab displays tools to edit and manipulate that particular type of reference object. Similar contextual ribbon tabs are displayed for other objects, such as hatches, giving you the tools you need right at your fingertips. In AutoCAD 2015, the ribbon is made even more powerful with new galleries. When you use the Insert tool from the ribbon, a block gallery displays preview images of the block definitions in the drawing, enabling you to rely more on visual cues and less on names. You'll find similar gallery previews for other definitions within the drawing, including text and dimension styles, as well as M-leader styles, table styles, and even table cell styles. As you explore the new tools in AutoCAD 2015, or if you want to find your old favorites on the ribbon, be sure and check out the AutoCAD Help System. It includes a new way for you to find tools in the AutoCAD application directly from the relevant help content. For example, maybe you've been reading about new design feed functionality and want to give it a try. Simply click on the Find Link or Button icon in the Help window. The appropriate ribbon is automatically displayed and an animated arrow draws your attention to the correct tool. Not only is this a great resource for finding new tools, but if you've moved from an older release of AutoCAD where the tools are in a different location, or maybe there was no ribbon at all, you can easily find your trusty old tools in this modern new interface. Layout tabs are enhanced in AutoCAD 2015 to include a new plus icon for quickly adding new layouts. A tooltip displays the layout name in addition to a preview image when you pass the cursor over a layout tab and an overflow menu provides easy access to layouts when they extend beyond the width of the display. The appearance of layout sheets has been updated and a new color option, accessible from the colors button in the options dialog box, enables you to control the paper background color, which has been set to a medium gray to help reduce eye strain. In AutoCAD 2015, more layer lists are displayed using natural ordered sort. For example, layer 10 is displayed after layer 9, rather than after layer 1, as it was in older releases of AutoCAD. Natural ordered sort applies to all layer lists, including Quick Select and the Hatch ribbon, just to name a few. If you've developed your layer naming conventions based on the traditional ASCII sort order, you may want to retain that method. A new sort order system variable enables you to do so. By setting it to 0, layer 10 follows layer 1, and layer 20 follows layer 2. I prefer the natural ordered sort, so I'll set my sort order variable back to 1. 